standing in the beautiful French countryside about two hours from Lourdes in a place called, well, we Americans would say Pruil. The French would pronounce it differently. And behind me is a monastery that dates back to the 1200s, the beginning of the 13th century, when Dominic de Guzman, or Saint Dominic as we know him, arrived here from Spain along with a bishop. And this was a territory that was overrun by Albigensians or Cathars. It was a heresy. Uh, they believed in a dualism between spirit and flesh, between Old Testament and New Testament, that the Old Testament, the, the physical world was created by the evil one, and the New Testament, the spiritual world was created by God. Interesting how a heresy is a partial truth, and people can say, well, that makes sense, I could, I could understand that, but then we're drawn into uh, a, heret a heretical idea, and people lose the true faith. So St. Dominic felt it was very important to preach the fullness of the truth and to bring people back from the uh, Cathar religion or the Albigensian heresy. And so he founded the Order of Preachers in 1216, about 10 years after he arrived here. This monastery was originally for Dominican sisters. It's also where the Dominican order began. It's called the Cradle of the Dominican Order. And there is also a tradition that Our Lady appeared to St. Dominic here and gave him the rosary. The Dominicans are known for spreading the, the rosary. And there's also a, a story that it was very difficult for the Dominicans to overcome this Albigensian heresy. It was a very difficult and sort of an intractable heresy and it was the praying of the rosary that gave them the impetus, that gave them the, the spiritual means necessary to overcome that. We know the rosary was also in the 1500s important in the Battle of Lepanto in protecting the Christianity of Europe. Europe wasn't overrun by the Muslims at the time. Many saints and many popes have a great devotion to the rosary. When we were in Paris, we, had, we were in Our Lady of Victories, which has a very special devotion to the praying of the Holy Rosary. So again, we're reminded at Lourdes and at Fatima and at places like this of the importance of the Holy Rosary and praying the Rosary daily for the conversion of sinners, for the end to violence in our world, to end to wars. Many things can happen if we work with Our Lady to pray the Holy Rosary. Mm -hmm.